and welcome to another installment in ATG's Tech Talk series. Today's subject will be visual search inside of Bluebeam Review. Many of us know Bluebeam is a fantastic product for doing PDF viewing, but also PDF editing. There's lots of different redlining and markup tasks that we can do. Today we're going to talk about the visual search function, which is going to help us find the data that we're looking for faster. Now on the left side of my screen, I have all of my various different toolbars. So for our search function, we're going to go look for the magnifying glass. I'll give that a click and we'll see that we are probably going to start in our standard text based search. Uh, but we'll notice to the right, we've got this other little button called visual. First though, let's do a standard text search. What I'm looking for is we're going to be doing uh, some counting of some toilets across this office plan. So. Uh, right now, I'm just going to look for toilets. Maybe there's a certain detail that's going to have my information. When I run that search button, uh, I can choose an entire document, a single page, or even documents within a folder and do like project-wide type stuff. So anyway, for my text search, uh, what we're going to be looking at are our results. And then when we left click on one of those results, we'll see a little highlight happen inside of our plan set. Zoom in a bit little highlight inside of our plan set for where those uh, are being found. So that's how the visual search works. Let's go ahead and try out the uh, visual search instead. So now I'm going to come up to my search toolbar. I'm going to toggle over to the visual and we'll see that this is going to look similar, but a little bit different. So with our visual search, what we're going to do first is we're going to get a rectangle. So I'm going to click that get rectangle button and I'm going to come and I'm going to try and get as close as I can to crop out the imagery um, that I'm looking for. Also, I'm going to widen this out to my entire document as opposed to a specific page. And once I've got my rectangle, I can then hit search. Now, there are a couple of options that we can go through uh, down in the bottom of our toolbar. It's going to tell us how we're doing on that search. Um, but we've got a couple of different options. Uh, if we're searching for different rotations, Bluebeam will automatically try and find that in like a 90 or a 45 degree. Go around by that. Uh, there are some color options. This is a black and white plan set, but that helps us go through and find some of uh, those. And we're searching for you know a few of these other checkboxes. Would definitely suggest you check out the help documentation and go check out how searching works in here. So we've got our text search, we've got our visual search, a lot of great info for doing more with this. But it looks like on this page, at least, I only found two instances of the toilet that I was looking for. So we can see that it's not a perfect um, operation going through and getting there, but that's what we have found on this page. Uh, the other thing with this whole current document search that was a bit of a limitation is if I look at my details, that's a very teardrop shaped toilet. However, if I skip over to my finished floor plan and look at my uh, details for the bathrooms, these are actually different bowl shapes and the line work is different, which means that my search isn't going to pick those up. Uh, so now let's do this one more time with a new rectangle in my actual plan set as opposed to my details. Uh, and I'm actually, we're going to go up one more page uh, to this one with some markups in it. Uh, it's the same document, so I'm going to also switch this to the current page as opposed to the whole document. Get my rectangle. And we'll search that again. Uh, obviously, the bigger your document is, if you're doing an entire document, uh, it's going to take a lot longer for this search to happen. And on this page, I have a men's room and I have a women's room. Sorry, flip those. Men's room on the right, women's room on the left. And the results here are giving me four. And they're all going to be the ones that are located in the women's half of the restroom. Well, clearly, I can see them over here in the men's half. But why is why are these ones not being found? And the reason why is because of the rectangle that we're being used to search and the fact that there's a markup covering this all up. So if I'm going to get a new rectangle and capture it as is, our rectangle is actually going to show us that it's got that line work from the revision cloud in there. There's this cool feature called uh, re uh, refined colors. So depending on how many colors were in here, you could filter those individual colors out. Since this is a markup though, it is smart enough to realize that the color isn't the factor in there, but it is picking up that geometry. With this new rectangle, if I search that, 
I would expect to find as many of those toilets covered up by a revision cloud. Uh, and in this case, that's going to be two. So the takeaway with this is twofold. Number one, if you're going to be doing a visual search inside your drawing, try and make sure that you're doing it before you have comments and markups in that might interfere with how you're going to do that visual search. Number two is that depending on what other line work is crossing over your toilet, it may make it a little bit more difficult to get all of the things that you're looking for. However, using this search function uh, to get started with looking for different data inside of your project is a great idea. Lastly, we're going to do one more thing with these, which is going to be to use our visual search in combination with the count function. Now, normally we would find our count in our tools under the measure category, where we could then go ahead and start doing a count. However, since I've already searched and begun looking for things, if I check the items from the results of my search, I'll notice that I have actually a series of different things we can do in here. So we can replace those, we can delete them, and in our little lightning bolt here, we have different options for things that we can do. In this case, I'm going to apply a count measurement to the things that I have checked. I'll just use the built-in check mark, it's simple and clean, and we'll see that those were automatically added. But in this situation where I found some of what I was looking for, but not everything, I actually am going to want to continue this count. So I'll head down to my markups list. That's the three dots with the three lines next to them. And go here to find my count measurement. I'm also going to go into its properties and rename the subject so that I can call this a toilet count specifically. And put that away. We'll see that my markup has adjusted itself to actually represent that title. And then I'm going to resume my count. Since in this simple example, I know where all of the rest of my toilets are, I'm simply gonna head over to the women's restroom, click, 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 click. As soon as I press escape, my markup list is gonna update and we'll see that I have my six count going in right there. And I can send this off to everybody else and say, hey, congratulations, we have as many toilets as we're required to for this particular floor plan for this particular area. Well, folks, I hope you've enjoyed today's tech talk where we learned a little bit more about Bluebeam's visual search function within the search toolbar inside Bluebeam Review. We also learned how we can pair that up with the count function in order to go through and more quickly and more easily quantify our designs. Thank you for watching. Have a great rest of your day.